So, Forest lose to Spurs. Everton duck two points. The roller coaster continues. Welcome to Grumpy Old Reds. Good morning, good evening, or good night. I don't know why I sung that, but whatever. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Let's get those likes up if you're sitting there doing nothing, picking your nose, whatever. Take a second, hit that like button, subscribe to Forest Fan TV. And let's get straight into this. We've got, uh, let's say hi to a few of the guys. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Has Ant finished reading the first page of the commission's? No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I can confirm that to you. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with it. Yeah, it's no so long, dude. man. It's so all long. Bull, it's all bullshit. And there we go. Demonetized off the bat. <laughs> 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 and has lost the report in his beard. <laughs> it wouldn't fit in his beard. Man. Uh, hi, guys. I fear the worst after yesterday's result. Don't worry, sub. Don't worry. I'm sick to death of Nuno's subs. It's driving me crazy. Crypto will be covering that one today. Gutless says Eddie, second half. Are we one minute in yet? Peed me right off. Um, Nuno's okay until it comes to making the subs. Mangala there flexing, no doubt, as he won the Murillo shirt. But let's say hi to the panelists. Crypto, you still in Spain? You're dragging this out now. Still in, still in Spain. Still in Spain, repping, repping forest. I've seen a lot of people walking around in uh, oh, no. United <laughs> tops and Spurs tops and Wolves tops. So uh, I think I'm the only Forest fan here, but, you know, all over the I world. I hope you didn't say, well. which Forest yeah, top did you take? Your, your top makes up for all them, doesn't it? I was going to say, <laughs> which top did you suitcase. take? I wouldn't fit in my suitcase. You didn't take that one that when we went to the cinema thing and your nips were like all no, I, boom. I burnt, I burnt that. Uh, Andy Reid ruined it, so I had to uh, put it on the bonfire. But yeah, my opening, my opening gambit of tonight is, you know, I've got a lot of people trolling me on Twitter, and you know how how sensitive I get on on Twitter. Um, no, I don't really, I don't really. But there's there's people. George, he's been because crying I, before we came. He on. did, didn't he? It didn't he, Rob? Even yeah, Rob said, "Do you look like tears, you're upset?" All tears. <laughs> I I, 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 I'm so sympathetic <laughs> towards him, as you can imagine. <laughs> I said, I said last night, and a lot of people agree with me. I'm starting to sound like a politician, but um, I put a tweet out saying that I think Nuno's got it wrong with the subs again because I think he does it consistently now. One, th there's two parts to it. One, I think he made some too late in the game, and two, I think he got it ro wrong last night in terms of the positioning. So. Taking uh, Morgan Gibbs White off and putting Domingo on is not a straight replacement. We know from previous matches that if you don't play people in their right position, then it just doesn't work. And oh, wait, we, we're just going to do this now. Should we just do it? Just straight, just into All this. right, go on. Um, you can go for it. it. Go for it. It doesn't. It doesn't work. We we know. We, Rainer is sat on the bench. Rainer's been having a great few games when he's come on in the last few games, and he's been doing perfectly fine. He's looked good. He is the backup number 10. So why he's putting Dominguez on uh, to, to, to cover Morgan Gibbs-White does not make sense. My problem was not the fact that he took Morgan Gibbs-White and Wood off because the game was probably lost. And if you want to rest them or if they're injured or if you don't want to risk injury, then fair enough. My problem was that he's bringing players on in the wrong position. Um, he left Yates on the pitch. I thought Yates had an awful game. Why did he not bring Dominguez on for Yates at half time? Instead, he brings him on for Morgan Gibbs White. The other thing that annoys me is that when Wood comes off, he put a Rigi on. We've got a, a striker sat on the bench who just gets no look in. He does great in the international as Ribeiro, um, but he gets no look in. So, what was the point of buying him? And we put a Rigi on in striker position. He, he can't score. He, he, it's just, it's just not working for us. These. These subs are, are just not working for us. And there's people coming at me saying, oh, it wouldn't have changed the game. There was only this amount of minutes left. And that's my whole point. They were made too late. They should have been made much earlier. And you can't say that it wouldn't have changed the game because it's, you can say that either way. It might not have changed the game. It might have changed the game. No one will ever know. But if you don't do it properly, then it's definitely not going to work. So for all those people out there who came for me on Twitter, fuck you guys. That's my uh, opening. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's my opening gambit. So you're well then, Crypto, yeah? <laughs> like... I'm good. I've been out in the sun. been riding around. I'm relaxing on holiday and not thinking it's about it. It's a beautiful voice, day by yeah. you two. Yeah, I, I felt like you needed to get that off your chest. Did you feel a bit better? Yeah, I mean, the alternative was blocking people on Twitter, and ain't nobody got time for that, you know. Come, come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how are you, Ant? <laughs> Should we say? Like... Well, how do you follow that? Uh, yeah, I feel a bit like crypto, to be honest. Um, just fed up, fed up. Well, forest fed up, not life fed up. Forest fed up. I mean. I'm sick of seeing the same thing over and over again. You know, we were saying beforehand, we've won three away games in two seasons. And that is pathetic by anybody's standards. And the fact that we're committing the same sort of performance and getting the same sort of results time and time again suggests that something needs to change, doesn't it? Because we're just an abomination when we're away from home. And there's no reason for it to be like that. Yesterday, briefly to touch on the game, the, we started off terribly. We started off so defensively, it was unbelievable and gave them all of the ball. And then all of a sudden, we started playing and Spurs were rocking. They were genuinely rocking. They looked so vulnerable. We scored one, could have easily scored another two. And we were set up second half to come out and have a go. And had we had a go against Tottenham, I think that, as I say, they are vulnerable and we could have got a positive result. But no, no, we come out, we play lethargically. I'm worried about the mentality of the players. They don't seem like they're fighting to me. It seems like they're happy when they're playing good football. They look great and they all look mm. good. But as soon as it goes wrong, there's no fight here. There's no crashing tackles. There's no running your guts out. There's no coming off there practically on your knees. And what Crypto said, he said he can understand why he brought Morgan Gibbs White off if it's to protect him. Fuck future games. We need, to win, was we need to win games now. Uh, and, and when they went 3-1 down, oh, yeah, when they went 3-1 down, they settled for it. Before I settled for it, they settled for 3-1 down. Hence the yep. terrible substitutions, hence the sitting back. There was no passion to try and go on and get something out of that game. And we know ourselves, we've been caught up from behind before. Plenty of teams have come from two goals behind before. We just, you know, if we'd have gone for it and managed to get a goal and made it 3 2 with 10, 15 minutes to go, who knows what could have happened? But there was no way exactly. that that was going to happen exactly. with that performance yesterday. It was pathetic. And it does worry me that a way, it seems like we're relying on winning at home. That, that just seems, it's like we've written off away. You know, we could have got something out of that game yesterday. Spurs are not that, not playing that great. They've got a great squad. Madison was nothing special. In fact, nobody was saying anything special on their side. And as I say, I'll keep saying it again, when we attack them, they shit themselves. They were mm. all, they were, Porro was booting it into the stands out of desperation. And we just stopped doing it. Now, is that the manager? That's the only question I'll ask you. Half time when they went in, what's the team talk? Right, lads, it's one all. You could be winning. Let's go out there, put it on them, get into them tackles, high press, scare them at the back, and they are going to concede. Or was it, it's one all. Let's be cautious. Let's be careful. Let's just sit back and see how the game got. I know which one I kind of get the feeling it was. Mm. So I'm not happy. I know who about should be doing the team talks at half time. I know who should be doing the team talks at half time. Not you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, think, I, don't think, I don't think I'd make as bad a job of it, if I'm honest. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I any know. Forest fan would make a bad job of it, because you'd I say agree. it with passion, wouldn't you? You'd say it I with agree. passion. Yeah. Maybe not Ez, man. I don't know if Ez would. <laughs> it's only there when they're playing well and they're scoring goals. The passion mm. disappears as soon as we go goal behind or we're under pressure. That's the issue for me. Mm. The thing is, you said you had nothing to say and you just blabbed on for like 10 minutes. So. Mm. My God, I hate to well, see Well, I've not even started on individual yes. players. But well, well, well let's, let's let Rob yeah, have yeah. his opening yeah. gambit. The thing, the and thing then, with uh, Ez, Ez would have to stand on the bench to be the same height as everyone to give the speech. <laughs> <laughs> He'd kick him in the nuts, man. That's what he'd do. Okay, um, let's give Rob his, uh, 
his his spotlight on his flowers. Let me, let me set the stopwatch. And then yeah, yeah. I just uh, say, no, you think uh, no, no, I'm Wait, you'll not get stopped. Uh, uh, no, you it. two blabbed on. You two did a full on yeah. monologue, right? Exactly. Full on That's monologue. I'm not having that. I'm not <laughs> having that. Full on monologue. But after Rob has to say, we're going to break down this Yates thing in, with uh, Madison. We'll break down the Everton stuff. There's a lot to cover on. So, Roberto, what say you? Well, it was all around the worst possible weekend of results, uh, not least because I actually watched that Luton-Bournemouth game and all Bournemouth had to do was just hang on. And uh, Luton are really up for it now. And it, I just thought, oh, God, are we gonna, we're going to lose tomorrow. And yes, we did. I'm afraid to say it was a very predictable scoreline. I never really believed that we could win that game. And I'm just glad that it's out of the way, quite honestly. Uh, I think that this was always going to be... If, if I was trying to put a cherry on the top of it, this was always going to be the worst week. With us away at Spurs, uh, Luton and Everton having winnable home games, uh, it all went... Uh, as badly as it could, and yet we're still not quite in the relegation zone. But uh, it just heaps pressure on that Wolves game now. It heaps. That that Wolves game is a must win. When your other two home games are Man City and Chelsea, no excuses. No excuses. That Wolves game is a must win. And um, we are basically in a penalty shootout with Luton now. We, you know, we've got uh, six six games to go, three games at home each. Whoever doesn't win a home game, that's like missing a penalty in the penalty shootout. And it's uh, alternate weekends. You know, Luton are away at Man City the next week. There's no way in the world they're getting anything out of that. Don't, we you, he went there. He went there. No, 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 no. I, I, Rob, Rob, I agree, mate. I agree. They're going to be crushed. Well, we've right? been very silly. Yeah, right. So, anyway, I mean... Um, 3-1 was a very predictable score, but the way it happened was not what I would have predicted. Uh, I don't think, despite everything he's done for us, that Murillo should get a free pass. What the hell was he doing for that own goal? There was just no need for that. There was just... Uh, he's he's escaped all criticism. That yeah. was bad. That was really bad. Why did he do that? Uh, it just reminded me of when uh, Dominguez gave the ball away at West Ham, just like, here, have a free goal. Yeah, so I was unhappy with Rob, that. But... Rob, don't don't bring mistakes up about Dominguez. That goes against my Yates agenda. Well, uh, on to <laughs> Yates. Yates was just so he was embarrassing, and the most embarrassing thing was like mm. this: so say midfield hard man get goes down yeah. to the weakest ever punch <laughs> I've seen. I uh, literally. If that is what he should be embarrassed to fall over after that, and he's already on a yellow on a tightrope, and he starts going to the referee and demanding that the referee reviews the footage, which in the book Clattenburg should tell him, Don't do that, that is a, mm. a guaranteed yellow card. He's very, very lucky because the thing is, if the referee then reviews it and says, No, no foul, he just put his hand out and he fell over. He then really should give him the second yellow for dissent, right? So I, I was embarrassed by that. And, you know, Nuno had the uh, the courage to um, sub Sangare at half time in the Palace game because he was having a shocker. Uh, everybody could see that that substitution needed to happen. Now, to Yates' credit, he didn't get set off, sent off and he did manage to play another half an hour. But I don't remember him doing anything. And what's the point of having a, a, a you know, defensive midfielder that's on a tightrope? They can't actually do their job. They can't go in there and win you the ball. And we've got depth in that position. Uh, I would have been happy with Sangare or Dominguez for Yates. But there's this kind of stubbornness about it. Just, I mean, past the captain. In fact, the captain's armband got handed on about three times anyway, didn't it? Didn't Nico it Williams end up with it? It, uh, it? Yeah, Nico Williams, and then he gave it to somebody else. But I don't know. Uh, I mean, positive. 
Chris Wood scored fourth game in a row. What a player. Should have scored more, though. Should have scored more. No, but I mean, you know, I don't want him to be one of these guys like Dexter Blackstock, get your contract extension, then immediately stop scoring. Uh, no, I mean, um, I, I'm kind of pleased. <laughs> Sorry, I just read that out loud. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I just read that out loud. I actually, yeah, I actually Thank watched. You. A bit Thank of you Blades for giving Ramble us a giggle. Thank you. We need a giggle. I, I watched a bit of Blades Ramble the other day. It's pure fantasy. They were plotting. <laughs> it, he, he was plotting how they were going to escape the job. Oh, oh he's, 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 what Jimmy Belief still? I think. Well, I don't know. It was a week ago. It, it, I think it's a bit of water <laughs> under the bridge. But I, anyway, after it, it, I'm, I um, have an admission to make that basically my friend came round to watch the second half. And he turned up on about like 55 minutes or something. And he said to me, have Tottenham been any good? And I said, not really, to be honest. We scored a goal for them. Then instantly they scored. Uh, and I said, well, that was your fault. That's, and that's he said, fault. no, that was your fault. So yeah, uh, you, well, they hit us with the second one straight after. And then the, I could tell that Nuno had given up. The subs had zero impact. And Origi is just not the player to come on and make a difference in that situation. Exactly. What have you got to lose by putting the um, the Portuguese kid on? What have Rivera, you got to exactly. lose? Exactly. Or keep Wood on. Wood was our best player. Why is he well, I, I don't know. Maybe Wood still needs to be protected. But I, I do admit, like, it's like they say that someone's a talisman. When I see Wood go off, I don't, I I don't just assume that, that's though, an end Rob. to the goals. You know, Rob, Rob in, in Nuno's presser, he always says we play each game. We don't think about if someone can potentially get injured next game. We play each game to win it. So mm. I don't think he brought Chris Wood off. Well, that, that was my point, Golden wasn't it? For the Wolves mm. game. That was my point. We need to win now, not think about you know the mm. next game. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay, let's let's get into the individual stuff that we need to talk about. But a massive shout out to Chris first with the two pound, two quid just for the chef you gag. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> man, I'm glad I'm fasting. If I had a drink in my mouth, would have gone poof, all over the camera. <laughs> Thank you so I much. Love it. Chris. I love the fact that they've still got hope. I love it. I hope they really believe. I, Come on, guys. You can I, I need to I need uh, to watch that Jimmy By the way, the way before time. we make jokes about relegating them, just remember that they could relegate us if that game no, goes impossible. No, 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 no. Don't 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 go bigging that up, right? Uh, that that uh, game, that we will fight. relegate them and be safe off that game. You heard it here first. Clip it, Jimmy. I know you're watching yeah. in the dark kind of clip. I, it. I, I completely believe Wolverine because I think uh, when we did the last score, he said that Murillo would score yesterday as well. So I'm I'm hundred percent back in there. You go, Wolverine. exactly. And, and what and said a we'd shot win. it and was. You said we'd win three one as well. Yeah, no, I said yeah. I said that no, there would be a 3-1 winner. I said there would be a 3-1 no, winner. I no, did. No, I said did I say 3-1 or not? To Forest, you yeah. said. No, I said 3-1. I didn't say 1-3. One, three. Three, one, I didn't say 1-3. Yeah. I said 3-1, right? But I can't anyway, he's trying to do this. I can't believe he's trying to do this. Look, right. <laughs> they told me in the chat <laughs> yesterday they never want me to predict a Forest win again. I'm just lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. Anyway, let's let's move on to the incident. Let's start with the eight C one. Um, and what's your take yeah. on this Yates? Um, I, I don't. I'm not bothered. I think everybody's gone. For, I mean, Rob, I'm ashamed to be a Forest fan. Ah, fuck it. What footballers have to do? Nobody, you are in Yates, or nobody else would say that that punch was sufficient to knock him over. What he would say is he had to go down to bring it to the attention of the officials. And footballers do that all across yeah. the leagues. They get a little tap and they... And sometimes you say, look at him dive. He is diving, but he's only emphasising the fact, look, ref, he's kicked me. And that's all Yates was doing. He, he, he wasn't pretending he was hurt that badly he had to go down. He was saying, something's happened here, ref. You and your VAR mates, take a look. So I'm not bothered about that. Fucking hell. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. Honestly. Did you think it was a red? I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Do you think what? it was a red? What for Yatesy? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can't Madison. do that. You can't do that to the red. That's a yellow. No. Do you think Madison <laughs> should have been sent off? <laughs> no. I agree. They should have sent Yates think... off. Should have sent... I don't think Madison. <laughs> I don't think Madison, I don't think Madison, Madison should have been sent off for that. Lucky that neither of them went off. It's actually having exactly, said that, having exactly, said that, if Madison exactly. had been sent off, I would have celebrated. 
Oh no, I would have celebrated if they both got sent off. That would have been like <laughs> that would have been yeah, better for Forrest. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the best point. outcome. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't but, really but like how Nuno used it. In general, with Ryan Yates, I feel a bit for him because it's not his fault, right? That the manager picks him and leaves him on for ninety minutes when he's not playing well. Well, it's genuinely not his fault. Yates, he didn't go out there to have a bad game. I could promise you that. So I do feel. No, a but it's bit the petulance, and it's the petulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I get that. I'm sorry, that. it's I the picture. That. Yesterday, do you know what he reminded me of? A crappy mixture of Vinnie Jones and Dennis Wise, that kind of player who's just, just there to do nothing, really. I just want to, I'd rather see footballers play football. And that's why I didn't want him in my starting lineup for this game. I don't care if he played well the game before. He was not the man yeah. for this away and, game. And we said there's no consistency yeah, I mean, in Yates' game. I don't know what, what, time, what time did that incident happen, do you know? About just for half minutes. time. <coughs> yeah, because Nathan sent me something. I, I, I sent back, we need to bring Dominguez on for Yates before he gets a red card. So yeah. that, I think, was common across the Forest mm. um, fan base, that he needed to yeah. come off, even if it's just to prevent a red card, because, you know, going to, going to man behind is not good, you know, obviously. So everybody felt the same. And what it does do, even though he didn't get a red card, is it makes him maybe just hold back a little bit to what he would normally do, which some may say is a good thing, but do you know what I'm saying? A defensive midfielder, which is basically what he is, um, can't afford to to like pull out tackles and stuff. So it mm. had a massive effect on him. And bring Dominguez on, for God's sake, the guy is fantastic. You know, it's not like he's not there, so you've got to bring on somebody you're not sure about. He might mm. perform. Even Sangare, dear, I suggest. You know, you think, well, Sangare, he's not been performing. He but looked all right him. when he came on. I yeah, thought. no, it was. I know it was. But you know what I'm saying? It was. It could have been a bit of a risk to take Yates off at off time and bring Sangare on because he's not been playing well. But with Dominguez, you don't have that fear. You know, if you bring him on, you're going to get a good performance, an energetic mm. performance, mm. exactly what you need against that Spurs midfield. Don't forget, they bought your hurl hoy beer on. And he's not he's not great. He's not quick. Dominguez would have had him all ends up. You know what I mean? So it's such an obvious substitution. And it's frustrating. And as we've said, as as, as Crypto rightly said, why are you fucking about with the front? Well, I'll tell you why we're mm. fucking about the front, because we'd given up. We'd given up trying to win. So you may as well take Wood off. You may as well take MGW off. No, all right, all right. let's just stick to this Yates one though. Let's stick to this. I don't like how I don't like how Nuno came out after the game and, and started trying to use it as an excuse again. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. there, there's been there's yeah. been plenty of times in our season where I've been screwed over, but it's getting to the point now that they're trying to find an excuse for for virtually every loss, and it's just yeah. becoming a bit bit pathetic. If we mm -hmm. carried on playing like we had in the first half, and shout out to Chris Wood. Because Chris Wood was on absolute fire, and I know he missed it, missed a few, but man, he, that was he, a if he come out, yeah, if he'd come out, if I don't know what happened at half time, but if he'd given them a proper team talk, taken Yates off, um, and and put Dominguez on, I think we would have come out and maybe got a, at least a point from that match. But as you say, we just we just gave up. The thing I said on the last score, when when all the Yates sympathizer came out of the woodwork, is that Yates has no consistency. And he's proved that yesterday. He had one good game. People were saying we were mad to say that we should we should drop him. Dominguez is one of our best midfielders. He shouldn't be sat on the bench. He should be on the he should be in the starting eleven. And Yates should be able to come on as a super sub or play him in the games where oh, just physicality does does matter. Just a sub. But it, I say it's not Yates' fault. I don't blame Yates. You know, it's not his fault. Um but I don't know. I it's just, the thing is, Dominguez right? can do everything that Yates Dominguez, can do. But I don't know why he got, and dropped, got but more better, as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, we're not talking about Yates. We're talking about the penalty, right? So, Crypto, you're saying, sorry, not penalty, red card. You're saying it's not a red card. No, I mean, I think I think Madison should just deck him so we could have Dominguez come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, chat. The question is, should Madison have got a red card? I'm not saying Yates on there. Madison. Okay. Well, I can I just, say, can I just qualify that? that? I'll be honest yeah. with you. I've seen that incident once, and that's when it happened. 
Mm. It wasn't so a penalty. I'm not, either, see, I'm not seen any slow down there. replays or anything. I'm just going off gut instinct. Gut. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going off gut instinct. You know, that it didn't look <laughs> serious enough. So oh, I just got it. If people, if, yeah, was, if people do say, good. no, it, it doesn't matter how hard you punch him, you know, that's immaterial. It's like with the face. If you touch somebody, that's enough to get you off. So if he did punch are, him... Are you, are you then, advocating yeah. that he should have been punched in the face? <laughs> no. <laughs> if he did punch him, no matter how hard it was, then yes, he should have gone. But I, I just... I'm not sure because I didn't see it clearly. You know, I wasn't paying attention. I was fed up. Rob, what are you saying on this one? Yeah, well, I think it was pathetic. Uh, it, we say you can't criticise, you can't blame Yates... Absolutely, I blame Yates because most of what he's doing um, is poor decision making. He's making bad decisions. He, you know, once you're on a yellow card, you do not continue to play with the same uh, abandon that you were before flying in for tackles. You, it, the yellow card, which came pretty early, seemed to make no difference in his uh, sort of demeanor at all. And in fact, he just continued at the same level of sort of shit housery. And um, you know how we said that uh, Danilo was like a mature performance in the last home game. That was an immature yep. performance from Yates. Agreed. Now I've been defending Yates for the last few weeks, but um, so I've, I've bought enough credit to now diss him appropriately. Uh, that was. Uh, even that's if that's, a, that's the first time I've ever heard a politician say they're going to diss someone. No, no. It, it, even if he'd scored a hat trick in the second half, that was still his worst ever performance for Forest, simply because mm. of how hard he was trying to get sent off in the first half. And you know, if we if we'd had to play the rest of that game with ten men, <laughs> it could have actually done serious damage to our goal difference. So I don't know what he Definitely. thought he was doing. And he just presumably thought, oh, I'm not going to be sent off and I'm not going to be substituted. I can play like I'm in a sort of schools game or something. Absolutely not. Not when you're away against one of the, the, the cartel six in their ground and you've got all these people analysing it. So, I mean, I think we said it was like, um, remember Gaza in the cup final? He should have been sent mm. off about three times in the first yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. But like his studs on Gary Parker's chest, and it, Yates seemed he had a wild look in his eyes yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you got wild some dodgy, have you got <laughs> some dodgy posters of him? Are you, are you trying to are you trying to say that you think he's, he, he's shooting up drugs before the game? Is that what you're saying, Rob? <laughs> um, I wouldn't go that far, but um, again, you know, <laughs> hopefully it's a. Hopefully it's a one-off. He is going to play for us again before the end of the season. A one-off. He's that... been doing it for three seasons. No, <laughs> I, uh, I hope that he um, reviews the footage and gets appropriate feedback because it was it was terrible. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> really was on this channel. Yeah, Johnny doesn't clearly doesn't because his first name on the team sheet every week. Uh, no, but look, uh, we all oh, I bigged him up last game, but you just you just know he's just. I get what Rob's saying, even though it's funny, man. <laughs> he had that wide look in his eyes. He's, he's right. He, he just had, he just, he you know what he looked like? He just looked like a kid who was just poking at the teacher or a parent just to see how much they can get away yeah. with. And let me just keep poking and poking and poking. And that's what it felt like. And I am so sick of this now. I blame the Yatesites. Yatesites. Would that be a word? The Yates cool. Yates cool. Blame, him, blame the player himself. No, 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 no. Let me finish, right? Because I just feel they've built him up into his own narrative to be like, oh, we all know Yates is crap. We all know he's limited. In fact, Yates himself would tell you he's crap. But he's the kind of player that no other team wants to play against. And Yates is probably there looking at his time and thinking, oh, I am crap. Oh, they want me to foul some more people. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still left in the team. And it's this dumbest narrative I've ever heard. You're saying the player thinks he's crap. You're saying you lot think he's crap. Yeah. But you're saying you want to play a crap player because he can foul people. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. <clears throat> 
and I still stick with my original statement on Yates from two, three years ago that bring him on last 15 minutes when you do need someone to break the clock down, to break the game down because you're winning or you're trying to hold on for a draw. Yeah. No other reason, man. He's not going to come on and impact a game to get you a goal. Let's be honest. Zero goals, zero Mm. assists this season. Mm. Yeah. Speaks for itself. But come on, if I hear... It's the it's the same Yates Ye- Yates cool who the same people who were noshing off Steve Cooper when they didn't want him to leave. It's the same people. It's the same. It's the same band, isn't it? It's the same band. They're part same of the same band. of the band. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's talk about Chris Wood, right? Um, because I thought his finish was brilliant for his goal. But has he lost his powers with that wooden post shot, man? I've never seen. Someone know, wind you, up a shot so exactly hard in my happened. life. Yeah, I Go can tell you exactly why that happened, or what I believe why it happened. I think that it was such an easy finish. He could have just dinked it. He could have just tapped, literally just dinked it, tapped it, tapped over the cap into him. the back. I think it was that easy that he wanted to smash it into the back of the net. And we have seen this before from players where they've blasted it when they didn't need to. And I think that's exactly what happened. And you could see the look on his face afterwards. He knew. He thought, I fucked up there. I should have just... Yeah, but even Steve in. Stone didn't blast it against Reading, or whoever it was, or QPR, whichever one it was. And yeah. he still missed it. Yeah, I know, but that's entirely different. <laughs> Steve Stone's not... <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought when he did it. I was like, oh, God, Steve Stone must be happy now. That, that for me, was what... And that's why he looked so distraught afterwards, because he wasn't like, oh, shit, I could have... It was like, why did I do that? I could have just tapped it into the back of the net. It was a tapping. It should have been a tapping. He didn't need to hit it like that. And I think that was just a little bit of, you would call it an experience in an inexperienced player. But yeah, that's what I think. He just decided he wanted to smash it into the top corner and go to the Forest fans and stuff. And he he, he fluffed it, unfortunately. You're on mute, Crypto. Yeah. You make yeah, sense, mate. better on mute, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard the airport he died. Um, yeah, I 100% agree. When when you play football and you know the ball comes across and you've got an open net, all you want to do is just smash it into the back of the yeah. net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, We've all been there. <laughs> you fit in the back of the net, and unfortunately, uh, sometimes it goes a bit bit wayward. I mean, I've I've done it before where I've tried to hoof something in the back of the net from two yards out, and it's landed on the uh, A52 from Branky swimming baths. So. It happens, you know, it happens to the best of us, the best of us strikers. Yeah. It's you never know what, happened to me. I was always very cool in front of the goal. I would have just slotted it. <laughs> oh, I was, I didn't miss, man. I, I did not miss. But you know what? The, this just triggered me again, Ryan, right? You should have scored before it anyway. I'm sorry, man, but a half capable midfielder puts that layoff away. We've seen um, Aynar put one away against Villa from a similar layoff from further out. But it's, and then Morgan Gibbs White's shot was so embarrassing on the follow up of that rebound, man. I'm surprised it reached the goal line. It was just, it was a shit show of a sequence, Rob, those three shots in general. And that cost us, didn't it? I can't understand how someone who managed to score from 30 yards against Fulham could not score from one. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to explain it because I just can't. <laughs> It was just like a, a bit of a brain fart, really. I bet it, it, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, maybe we need to move him a bit further out. You know, there is no explanation for that. I can't explain it. I In any case, with you, Rob, weren't you listening? No. Oh, well, no. I, yeah, maybe he wanted to like do like a theatrical, emphatic finish, but. I think you do that in 90 plus three, not in sort of 30 minutes. So I don't know. Um, and I don't know if you guys agree, but that could have affected the whole complexion <laughs> of the, because I think that, that Spurs could have well have folded after that. You know, yeah, they were. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. so here's the question, right? If, um, if we'd gone in 2 1 up at half time, how would you guys have reacted if we'd come out and played five at the back and tried to just stifle them for the second half? It depends Same if way. we won, lost, or draw. Ah, right. So, because I would have respected that personally, I would have even potentially respected it with a one-one, because 
I don't know, just going out with the same setup. Rob, Rob, I think Rob, 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 how many times does it take for you to watch a game of football to understand it, right? We have tried to defend time and time it and worked time at again Chelsea. away from home. It worked and it, oh, come on, it worked for Chelsea. That's one game out of 60. No, but <laughs> and crap. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but Rob, you're missing a key point. We had uh, Joe Warren. Uh, okay, but we were, we were, we, no, 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 our, say, say our it, on, idea say, was to go out and Rob, play in the say, park on, in the on. second half. I, I just think the chance no, of no, that. No, Rob, hang on a sec. I'm being ser seriously, I know I was, you know, a bit facetious then, but mm. seriously, we can't do it. We've tried it over and over again. We can't defend. We're shit, right? Try and understand right, okay. this. We are so shit the, defensively. Let's separate shit, the man. idea shit. from the execution. Look how many goals you've conceded. We are shit defensively. All right, let him back in, man. Let him back in. Yeah, uh, let's on. separate one the more idea. Thing, one more Even if we're four nil up, we should not ever, ever defend because we can't. <laughs> four nil. Yeah, Go right. right. In Prince, let's talk about the principle of it, right? Let's separate the idea from the execution because basically we went out in the second half and we're basically saying, yeah, okay, it's one one. I would, I'd say we're more likely to score here. I'm backing us to go out and score and win. I, I would have been perfectly happy. If they'd gone out with a different system, you know, sub Yates, put on a defender for Yates and drop Gibbs White further back. No, no, no. Well, one, hold on, man. Hold on. Let him finish. I'll bring you both in. Hold on. Absolutely. Bye. Look, if we got away with a 1-1 one -one yesterday, we would be very <laughs> satisfied with that. Uh, yeah. you know, I'm not saying do that at home against yeah. Burnley like Steve Cooper did, but I'm saying that if you've, you've got to half time at Spurs and your level, can we not at least consider that? Because I just don't think we've got the firepower to no. to go and. Yeah, um, we don't have the defence. We've tried it hundreds of times. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's not guesswork. We've seen it. Yeah, we sit back and defending doesn't work. Well, well, let's ask right, well, the, let's ask the chat. Work. Let's ask the chat. Work. How how do we phrase this? This, well, this would have made a difference. I need I need to phrase this into a poll question. So how how do we phrase this into yeah, a Robert poll? Robert Nobed, yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> that will get zero percent. <laughs> that doesn't need a poll. But right, how do I phrase this into a question? So basically, what you're saying, Rob, is should we have tried to low block mm. to get no, a draw? Not, not, not low this block. Is Cooper, but... This is a Cooper lover, and you coming out. No. Ah, yeah. Are we not saying that we couldn't have brought on another defender and tried a different shape? And All right, right so you're saying go five playing. back. Yeah, you're saying go yeah. five back. Yeah, okay. Play, play, should should say, play defensive. We have and gone... hit them on the break. You got a Langer on the get many votes on here. The pitch. I don't think you're going to get many votes here because. We've seen the evidence well, of what, what we did. We tried yeah. to didn't work. I've got to take we still get the yesterday. I agree with this. I agree with this statement. Rob, read this statement and weep. Yeah, but what what we That's did? That's a Jordy fan, man. It was he got it? Yeah, but yeah, he's he's traumatized by Chris Wood's hat trick. That was a one-off, as you've <laughs> said. It's a purple patch, right? I'm just suggesting that there's certain games where, like, you get to half time away at one of the cartel six. And you think they're more likely to score than us, and a draw is a damn good result for they us. Are if we, let, we are if we try to defend, yeah, definitely. That Luton. is correct. Luton. If we try to if we try to defend, we are far more likely okay. to concede than them. You, you're missing definitely. out on the fact that what we did didn't work, right? So I'm suggesting that we it could have tried work. something else. Uh, but Rob, Rob, what? listen, didn't work. He went defensive. Correct. <laughs> listen, 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 Rob. You're gonna have to make a stronger case because it's 84 percent saying no to a five at the back, 16 saying yes. I see you just got snuck your vote in there, Rob. Did you? <laughs> no, I, I can't vote. It doesn't Rob, Rob's got this. like seven phones on the table. You voted like, no as well. Yeah, <laughs> but I kind of get the point you're making. But half time would be too early. Would be my argument back to you. I think that if you exactly what Ant and Crypto is saying, if you try to tr play for a draw and and hold out with five at the back, you're going to end up losing. Now you could argue maybe you lose by a smaller margin. 
You'd lose by a smaller yeah, margin. If we had Elanga on, we could score on the break. Why not? Well, I, I, I can't yeah, understand crap, you. Because we played he's defensively on, on Saturday and lost 3-1. So I cannot understand your argument. Yeah, we, we played... No, you're, we saying, played... We should, you're saying we should have played defensively in a slightly different way. It doesn't matter what way we play defensively. Mm. It's been proven. Three at the back, five at the back, four at the back, ten at the back. We still lose. Well, you've got a vote in Mark. Mark saying I'm voting five for the back support robbers. You're all just bullying him now. <laughs> people are pulling out people, your petition. By the way, by the way don't, think that, don't think that I get on to Rob and feel sorry for him because me and Rob are, are good mates and we love it. Well, I love him and I don't know if he loves me. He doesn't love you. Love <laughs> yeah. I think I you're right. That's the kind of guy I am. So <laughs> this is all football talk. You know, don't, <laughs> don't let it upset you. <laughs> All right, um, let's let's bring in freaking super chat from Noah. Thank you so much for the four ninety nine. Has anyone noticed why do we not mark a man outside the box? Absolutely. What happens for Spurs corner yesterday, mm. especially the second goal? P.S. and is hot. <laughs> do you mean like warm? <laughs> Yeah, a bit hard. Thank you so much for the four ninety nine, Noah. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit annoyed with the second goal, crypto, because it was Wood and Nico Williams. I haven't watched it back. I'll be honest. So if I'm wrong and it wasn't those two players, then I apologize. But I'm pretty sure it was. But they both did yeah, the Black good. Lives Matter and turned their back on on the shot from uh, Van der Ven, and that, that just annoys me. Close it down and don't turn your backs, man. Why do footballers turn their backs on a shot? It's Shocking. so annoying. But the the thing that annoyed me more is why why is Chris Wood playing as a centre back in in our own box? Is he tall? We, we, I know, but we're too we sat way way too far in 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 a low block formation. Effectively, I mean, it was a brilliant strike. To be fair, if someone kicked the ball like that at me, I'd probably turn my back as well. Um, but. I don't know. It, it was all just wrong. We shouldn't have come out in the second half and played like that. We were completely um, we we're in possession. We were controlling the match in the in the second half of the first half, and then we just came out and just flopped it like we always do. And it's it's just shocking. It's this is why I said the other day if you have to sell Murillo or Morgan Gibbs White, I'd sell Murillo because our defense is just they're good players on paper, but our defense as a whole is just crap. We concede literally game after game after game. When was the last time we got a clean sheet? I mean, it must have been months West ago. Ham. It... West Ham. Would it be West Ham? Yeah, a while ago. What was the West the Ham West, score? The West Ham were crap on that day. I mean, it was, it's just when shocking. When was the last time know, we kept it's... a clean sheet away from home? Probably never. Southampton Chelsea. last year. Chelsea. 1966. Chelsea. 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 Yeah. yeah, but Rob, you're missing that crucial ingredient again as a centre back. But um, I don't know. It just we sit back and defend too much, and I, I can't stand it. And I, I don't know why Rob says we should go five at the back because that's that's the exact problem. You bring too much pressure on yourself, and then mistakes happen. People are out of position. Chris Wood is trying to defend in the box. It's not. It's not tactically. Uh, oh, hang just, on though. It's just, bad, it's just bad. It's just bad tactics. Pressure works both ways, though, right? If we'd come out and we'd spend the first 15, 20 minutes being solid, the crowd would have got the home crowd would have got on Spurs back, and you know they would have got frustrated because they're playing for a place in uh, the Champions League. So yeah, but I'm, to I'm talking about the pressure. Where... Yeah, but I'm talking. I'm not talking about the pressure from the crowd. I'm talking about the pressure from. Everybody sits back and and, right. and brings on the uh, attacking prowess of Spurs. So, so just a couple of things about playing defensively, right? We played a really good defensive game at home to Liverpool for ninety eight minutes, right? Just not for ninety nine, right? We defended really well. You can't say that. No, no, no. We defended really well in that game. We lost, and there were there were other games in the first half of this season where uh, we either had four or five at the back and we defended really well, but there was a certain goalkeeper that just let us down, right? I'm, so I'm if buts and maybes, Rob. These are all if yeah, buts and maybes. You can't, you can't, you can't blame with, Sells. Sells was brilliant yesterday. No, no exactly. Sells, Sells is um, press resistant 
And I would say that he, he would actually work in a, a low block kind of formation because he doesn't oh. flap and, and panic. So, I don't know, we've given up on something because it didn't work when we had Turner in goal. Yeah, but and, the whole reason Norrell. Marinakis got rid of Cooper, Rob, was because Marinakis himself couldn't stand low block. He's not going to, yeah, trust me, he's not going to design. When a point could be the difference between... I'm not talking about Spurs. Look, I get your point on Spurs. I kind of get it. I don't agree with doing it from half time. But if it was 1-1 with 10, 15 minutes left, fine. But to do it from half time, you're asking for trouble. Well, we, we are in fantasy land if we think that we're going to go out there and score two or three goals in the second half. Okay, right. but Ant's point right. earlier. Ant's well, point earlier. Yeah, we, we, were controlling we have done the that the once. Time. We have done that yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 Away at Newcastle. Yeah, in two years, yeah. right? So why yeah, do yeah, we yeah. think? You know why that is? Because it's the only fucking time we've tried to do it. That's why. Because normally we're doing your pack tactics and having 10 men sat at the back waiting to concede. No, and it's not. It's why? not. And look at the game yesterday, Ant. You said it earlier, yeah? When when Forrest went behind, this is what annoys me. When Forrest went behind, they're like, oh, crap. We better go out and you may, maybe play some football. And we had like Spurs that. under the cosh for a good 20, 25 minutes. And we scored our goal. And Chris Wood should have scored. Yeah, mm. so it is within the players. That's what frustrates me the most. You can tell there is a team in here, and it's almost like they still got this cooperitis in them that their natural prep, prep, pre, what's the word? Presupposition is predisposition. The presupposition. I don't yeah. think presupposition. No, is I've, had I've had sepsis on the mind, but um. Yeah, that their natural predeposition is they're going to go into this low block, and I think Ant spot on what you were saying when we went for them yesterday in the first in that twenty five minute. However, we have to be behind to do that. That's when mm. it was like our best this, football this of the is, game. This is the point, Rob. Forest are better on the attack. It's as simple as that. We can't sit back and defend. It just doesn't work. We've been I, trying. I, for two I years. agree with you, but there's got to be there's a time and a place, right? I mean, no, 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 we, 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 we can't defend ever. Is, no is that what we're saying? Is that what we're saying? We can't defend ever. Uh, 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 they're not good enough, Rob. Defensively, they are not good enough. So there's no time, no place to play defensively. Make sure this is not good enough. But this, I hope. I hope I'm not doing a straw man here. I'm trying to sub. I'm trying to Go sum on. up your point. Your point is that we are incapable of defending, so we shouldn't even try. Kevin Correct. Keegan rules. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> no. in one. That's that Rob, dark. In one. That is Rob, dark. Rob, we shouldn't. Yeah. We shouldn't I'm try. It with I've been watching us away from home for two seasons. Rob, the match. It's Ma not maybe we need to work on that in training. Yes, okay, but let me let me fire back at Ant. Let let me fire back at Ant. Right, Ant. Do you rate Murillo? Yes, of course. Do you rate Oma Bamadeli? Yes, very, very Have you been impressed with Aynar and Nico Williams? Absolutely. Okay, very that's good. our defence. How can you say we can't defend? Don't know. But the call. KO! No, but the can't. Fatality. That was a good one. Know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good players are individually. It doesn't matter how good players look on paper. If they don't perform well as a unit, they're crap. Mm, exactly. You know exactly. what it is? It's, it's the bloody corners. That's the problem. When we're under no, pressure, we start there. giving away a corner every two no, minutes. What it, what, what it is, what we the problem so is, is away, we, we get played. We get played through midfield, and then it invites all the pressure on the defense who so have to fall back into the box. Because the midfield can't control the ball because there's players such as Mr. Academy player who is not good enough to play to be on the pitch in a Premier League squad. Yeah, mm. Look at this guy. Trevor Griggs, man. What a geeky name. You're a small club. Did you really think you can beat Spurs away? So Harry, he's Harry still got a picture of Harry Kane in, in his profile picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're a small club with two fucking stars on our chest, mate. Fuck off. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Okay. Is, is the two stars for Forest had four points deducted? Because I looked in the table, I saw no, two it's stars. Two European being <laughs> champions of Europe. It's the star star is Forest deducted four points. Spurs have never had and will never have. 
Because they are all right. We, we now have two stars in the table as well. <laughs> 1961 was the last time. That's 63 years ago. The last time they won the league. They've never won the European champion, uh, been European champions. Who the fuck are they? The only reason yeah. they're top six, big six, is because of that fucking poxy shit all over the ground they've got that they that they whore out. Every fucking 10 minutes. How try and get dare you, Anne? How dare you? They won the Mickey Mouse, sorry, I mean League Cup in 2008. How can you not give them credit? We've got four of them. <laughs> We've got an interruption. We've got a big interruption. Whoa, Noah, man. I, I oh, don't know Noah, if you've put man. bloody hell, me, man. Noah. You know where to meet me before the ground. Just give it me. Stop doing this. <laughs> no, I really hope card. you didn't mean to accidentally put the decimal sure in the wrong place. A big man tonight, I'm yeah. way too generous. Chat, show Noah some love. The legend. I hate Spurs after when the Spurs fans threw a glass bottle at me when we played them at home. And I hate them so much. Also, love the streams, you guys. Also, love to every Forest fan in the chat. Love our club. It's time to make that the noise next Saturday. Noah, you're ridiculously generous, bro. Thank you so, I suppose so that much. Little, that little rant out against Spurs was perfectly timed with that. Perfectly <laughs> that timed. No, Noah, that was for you. That was for you. Uh, Mark with the five pounds, and that's huge as well. Uh, the PSR Commission have now collected more points this season than Derby had. When they <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Very clever, Mark. Mark, did you come up with that, or did you get that off some kind of social media? Very good. I like it. I like it. Um, okay, let's, and that is a timely way to move into this Everton thing. So Everton have been deducted two points, um, which goes against the narrative of three points for a breach, three points for a significant one, blah, blah, blah. I've been going through the stuff um, on well, we got, there. We got the Luton, we got the Luton Town fans in here. Oh, no, Luton, you know, it's Boris called though, Luton right? Town Fan. No, there's no plural when it comes to them. Luton, yeah. Luton, the, the only reason to go to Luton is to get out of the fucking country so you lot can sod off. <laughs> and they're still behind both Forrest and Everton, who have had a combined what? What's Everton had now? Six, seven, eight, plus four. There's 12 points combined. They've been deducted, and they still can't can't get ahead of either team. Anyway, yeah, as Tom says, the entire fan base is it. I just want Liv some quick takes. I want some quick right. takes and from you guys in the chat as well. Some quick takes on um, the two points. Were you expecting more or less? You okay with it? What do you think? Who wants to kick this one off? I think, Rob, your turn to go first on this I'm one. I'm disappointed it wasn't six again. Uh, I'm trying to understand why it wasn't. Because initially they were sort of 10 reduced to six and now two? There's no consistency at all. Yep. Yep. So um, I was... I was banking on that. You know, I was hoping that when it came, it would be six and they'd go below us. Obviously, I'm against the whole thing of points deductions. I guess the only positive now is that that strengthens our appeal. Because uh, if we look at, you know, our appeal should be four down to two now, I think. Minimum. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that we appealed now. At the time, I was thinking just like, take mm -hmm. it on the chin and move on. But I think now uh, we've got a really good case for the four being reduced to two. And I just hope that they do it ASAP. I'm, I'm pretty mm. sure that they gave them two on the basis that they wouldn't appeal that, right? Because obviously they've already appealed, Rob. They've already oh, appealed. Say, really? In the, yeah. Literally yeah. in their statement, they said we're putting our appeal together. My God. And they're damn right they should. Damn right they yeah, should. I know, but the thing right. is that they're two weeks behind us, so that really is going to go on uh, after mm -hmm. the end of the season, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But I, I think you've yeah. now, the, the problem is with these stupid uh, points deductions is that there was never a tariff in writing. Yeah. You know, and, and, and there's zero consistency with it. The first um, punishment for Everton by what they'd written down was way too harsh because it was more than insolvency. Mm. Yeah. And then this one, it's like, oh, they've already had one th this season, so we're only giving them two. It's like, if I go and get drunk mm. and drive through a crowd of people and then I do it the next day as well, I should be punished more. 
Not like, yeah. oh, well, we've already... Yeah, most repeat offenders are punished one. more, aren't but, they, Rob? Most repeat offenders but, are punished more. But, but just to kick back on that, just to kick back on that, I think what the Everton analogy would be is you were drunk and you ran over a person mm. and in that same night while you were still drunk, you then ran over a second person. See what I'm Rob, I'm a, I, am a, I am a little bit worried, Rob, that you're always, referring to, you're always referring to running people over in your van, which is slightly concerning. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. have a van. <laughs> yeah, but does, that, does my analogy make sense? I've said it out loud. I don't know if it makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Uh, all right, no. no, but, no but yeah, if yeah, I, no, okay. yes. If I drive no. down Mansfield Road and yes, I get done no. for doing 33 miles an hour and then I keep going on into Carrington and I go past a second set of cameras and I get done for doing 33 miles an hour there, I'm going to get two lots of three points. Well, I you'd be an idiot that. then, wouldn't you? Everyone knows where the cameras are. And, 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 and to effect. your analogy, it's true you analogy. If you knock somebody over, over and then yeah. you drive somewhere else and knock somebody else over, I don't think so. Oh, the second one, we'll, we'll forget about that. Yeah, no, but I was saying <laughs> I, was still, I was still drunk in the same moment, whereas... Whereas what Rob did when he killed the people that, you know, the next day, he killed one set of people one day and then he went and got drunk again the next day and then killed another set actually, of people. We, we, should, we should move off yeah, this because yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. bad taste, actually. It's in bad taste. Uh, this, is, this, a little is bit, losing, this is definitely losing Rob some uh, Lib Dem votes, that's for sure. No, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it just the, the idea that they've already been punished shouldn't reduce the severity in fact in in it could be an argument for increasing the severity but that was I the mitigation that... rob they, I, I read some parts of it the mitigation is because they'd already been punished yeah i know the this mitigation was looked into it yeah yeah it doesn't make sense mm. anyway uh, all right yeah. i all suppose right. on the other hand i suppose on the other hand if the amount that were over say two years ago is also taken into account this time because it's a three-year rolling period, which is stupid anyway. Yeah. Then, then they have actually been punished for that already. You know what I mean? And I can understand why they're saying, "Well, it's not fair. We're punished again because we've already been punished for being over in 2021, and now you're punishing us again for being over in 2021." It's it's because of this three-year period. It's bloody stupid. It really is stupid. To make it a yeah, one-year yeah, period. Yeah, one-year period. It's, it's like, I tell you what it's like, if we're, if we're into analogies, especially driving oh, one, it's like average speed check. You can go 150 mile an hour and stop just before the second camera and then wait for a bit and go over and you'll be all right. The fact you went 150 mile an hour is still fucking dangerous. Yeah, but yeah, but then everyone would be really pissed off with you for stopping in the middle. I'm just saying that that's <laughs> why the two years. Full over to the hard saying, shoulder. I'm not, I'm not referring it to Evan or Forest. I'm just saying that's why the whole concept is. Wrong. You know what? True story. I was in the car with my cousin once. Do you remember on the M1 back in the day? The um, average speed cameras from about junction 21 all oh, the way up to 24. Million. Yeah, they're still there. This yeah, no, really, I'm talking back in the day, like 15, my 20 years ago. It, my, my radar, my, it, 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 he I didn't know what it was. I was driving up to Nottingham with him from London, and he goes through the first one, and he's like, why is the camera overhead? I'm like, man, that's an average one. He goes, I was doing a ton. And I was like, yeah, well, when you go through the next one, you've got to be below, you know, the he goes, well, what's the average for that? Mile an hour for a bit. I was right. like, I can't figure out. He just literally cut across three lanes, parked his ass in the hard shoulder. And he goes, what do you think? About 30 seconds. And I was like, <laughs> are we really doing this? <laughs> Which is crazy it is. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That's what the Premier League rules are like. Mm. Because mm. they're doing an average over three years. No, you can't. that's not the way to do it. It is a good analogy. Get, it's a good analogy. Situations like this, where you're punishing somebody twice for the same period, you know, the same year mm. that you went over, and that's mm. that's not fair. You've already been punished for going over by you know 100 million in that year. And the then next people year, like you're that punished again for going over 100 million in that year. So they're, they're I think they're correct. I think they're correct. What I'm saying. Just just very quickly before we. So there's, there's uh, 556 across all the platforms, 107 likes only. You guys could do way better than that. Way better than that. Okay, uh, what are you lot doing in chat? Are you beefing up with some looting guy? Is that what's happened? I don't know. I'm they've seeing got, a lot. Of... They've got nothing better to do because we Forrest live in their head rent free. Friend, yeah, okay. come on, don't I, let a looting fan upset anybody. <laughs> a looting fan. You should you should tickle their belly, a looting fan. They gotta be <laughs> anyway. I, 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 I'll, I'll give I'll give a, a calm and and 
reasoned analysis of what I think about the two points. First of all, I don't think there should be any points. Wait, just before, before you do, point. Anne. Yes, he did, yeah. David, because he is the luckiest get ever. Man, the stories I could tell, he got done doing a hundred, right? A hundred. Flipped the car into the other lane, yeah? And then when he went to court for it, the damn officer didn't turn up. He is the luckiest kid ever, and they dismissed it. Anyway, sorry. Go, sorry, Anne. Yeah, um, I don't think any of us. Should sorry, can I do one more story? Because this is all true, right? We're driving through Chelsea, yeah? Mm. Chelsea, in Chelsea, right? In Kensington and Chelsea. He goes through a crossroad traffic light with a police car the other way. As he's going through, he slows down. It goes amber. Then it goes red. Then he goes through. And then the police car turns right behind him. Pull him to one side. You went through a red. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Because it was green for us. It had to be red for you. Yeah. She goes, I'm booking you. She goes to book him. She goes to her car, comes back. You're lucky. I served my last ticket to the one I stopped before. <laughs> You're g um, Just don't do it again. I nearly punched him in the face, man. Sorry, Anne. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? Any uh, more? Yeah. No, no, there's loads more. There's loads more. But carry on. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm sharing tonight. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't think any club should be deducted points. It's a financial irregularity. It should be a financial punishment. And that's what's going to happen going forward. Funnily enough, <laughs> that's, a, mm. that's a bit strange. They've recounted on that, and apparently they're yeah, recounting they're, they're, on that. Eh? Have they? They're, yeah, apparently they still want points penalties. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's got to be consistent. Whichever it's, way not, it's, it's not It's not confirmed. It's not confirmed, is yeah. the point. But it's not mm. consistent, is it? It's not consistent. Mm. The points deductions seem to just be plucked out of the air. There's no mm. logic. I felt I felt sure that Everton would get a minimum of three points because I thought they'd said that three points for breach, no mitigation, no excuse, three points for breach. After that, we could talk about how much you went over and how much mitigation there is, and we can then a, a assign the relevant points. But no, they're giving them a two. So now they're saying if you breach, you can get away with two points. Now, any decent lawyer, and I believe we've got a really good one in Nick DeMarco, will rip the Premier League to shreds because they will say, you can't do that. They breached, they got two. We breached, we got three. That's... That yeah, but I don't know if they're allowed, if he's allowed to do that because, again, I'm, I'm looking into it, but I don't think you can come in with any new arguments. Having said that, having said that, I know the Forest legal team have been like combing through the Everton stuff today. Yeah, yeah. But I don't yeah. know if you can present any new no, arguments no, 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 or you can just re-represent yeah, your good, case. A, good, a lawyer of DeMarco's quality, I would think, would say that, but in a different way. I'm but sure you say can it. say yeah. it, but in a different yeah, way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so the Premier League have really, really screwed up big time here. Six points for one. Well, ten points used six for one. Four points for another under appeal. Two points for another under appeal. And then and then they're on about... There's another thing that Jamarco will, I'm sure, bring up. They promise that these breaches will be dealt with this season. They're saying that this second... The third one that Everton are, are, are in line for will be dealt with next season. That's the oh, bit no, that's annoyed no, 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 no. That's not that's what you said. Me. You said mm. they were all mm -hmm. dealt with this season to make it fair. Mm -hmm. So they're wrapping themselves up. They should just give up. They should say, tell you what, we've screwed up here. Have your points back. No PSR. Agreed. Let's get on with football. That's what they should Agreed. do. Yeah. Okay. Um, wait, Crypto, quick word on that. Uh, I mean, the thing that annoys me most is is the Man City thing. Because, you know, let's hope it doesn't That'd happen. Point. This, this point deduction could effectively get us relegated. But... What's going to happen to Man City? If, if Man City win the title, what's going to happen to them this season? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. So, I don't know. I feel like I feel like they've got the Premier League have got an agenda against Forest, and that they've given Everton lesser points so that they know that that's another club that can get away from us. So, I don't know. It's it's just a it's just a mess. It, can I very quickly say worst. about Man City? Is that I hear a lot of people going on about Man City and one one five and all that lot. I don't think that Man City should get any points deduction. I don't think that any of our clubs should get points deductions. I really don't. And people say, well, financially, it won't make a difference. Yeah, true. But it is a financial thing. So scrap PSR, scrap FFP, let people fight it out. Scrap VAR. <laughs>
And and I don't think Manchester Man City should get any points deductions. And I don't think we should. And I don't think Everton should. Simple. Okay. So forget this um, Man City thing. Don't let that don't let people don't let that cloud your judgment. Because that's a different thing altogether. It's not even the same thing as us. <laughs> it's a totally different thing they're fighting. So yeah, but it's hundred. I, no, I, I, no, let's not go down that barrier. Just uh, very quickly, Rob, are you okay, man? Are they just cut the bills out. Darker. Where are you? Come back. Um, hey. So just, just very quickly. Then for a second, one then have a look this too. There's a special prize on football prizes. I don't know if it appeals to you guys or not, but there's going to be... It sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Um, This isn't forest related, right? So you've got a private jet experience going to the Euros to watch England versus Slovenia flying out from Manchester on the 24th of June with two nights accommodation then you actually have to watch the England game, I guess. And then two tickets for the jet back um, with two of the football prizes guys who are legends. I do know them quite well. So if you are interested in this prize for $195, um, knock yourselves out. The link's pinned in the chat for you. <laughs> Obviously, I'm born in Scotland, so I can give two hoots. That, that, about... that could be the punishment for Man City that Southgate has to become manager for the next 10 years. That would be a good yeah, punishment. They, they, they yeah. That would be a good punishment from the league over that. Well, <laughs> that would be. <laughs> yeah, but he, he paint them down to, to League Two. No, I'd rather be in the local counties league and have that twat as man. Than have Southgate. Yeah. That, that prize, I would buy lots of lots of tickets for that prize. If it was, you could use a sniper rifle on that bloody idiot. Oh, we're year. back to killing people again. Anyway, so if you want that, uh, tickets are one ninety five. There's a lot of tickets, but it's a big plane. Uh, well, it's an expensive plane. So if you want that, the tickets and two nights, go grab your tickets. Um, I don't know what the odds are on you winning it, but if you One care in about 50, England. 50,000, mate. One in 50,000. Well, yeah, that's pretty simple maths. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of good odds, Chris with a two pound. City have seven PSR charges in their 115. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's wrap it up. <laughs> let's wrap it up there. Uh, anyone got any closing things they wanted to bring up? Um, anything from anyone? Uh, yeah, I just like to do with three points on Saturday. Really cool. If you play Saturday, is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, whenever we play, you play. I don't Saturday, know these days. Yeah. We could really do with three points. And to be honest, Wolves are not playing well. And if we could produce the foot oh, kind of form that we showed against Fulham, I think we've got every chance of winning that game. And if we do, that will actually put us, I believe, three points clear. So. Yeah, and shout out, to, shout out to this Wolves fan who's a bit of a crybaby, Paul Harris. If you beat Wolves on Saturday, makes you cheats. Wolves had to sell their best players. Well, you should have kept them and taken your four points. You would have been fine this year. Your mid table. We, we were. We, this is bullshit. We were thirty million pounds over, right? Thirty-four million pounds. Thirty-four and a half. Pounds, which, which meant. We had to sell what some people, not me, but a lot of people believe was our best player. So piss off about we didn't sell our players. We had to sell Brennan Johnson. And that brought us within PSI. It was just a little, it was a month and a half late. That's all. And, a half. and I, huh? thought, uh, I thought, I thought, I thought Mangala was our best player. He is. I said some people think Johnson is our best he player. He did qualify that. He did qualify right. that. But we had, nevertheless, we had to sell him. To comply with this stupid, pathetic, and also Wolves fans, you got hundred and five million to spend over three years. We've only got eighty six, sixty one, was it, and eighty three this year. Mm -hmm. So hang on, who's cheating? You got more. You're allowed to spend more money than us. Why? 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 Mm -hmm. Don't know, dear. So Technically, they might not have more money to spend now because that's sixty one over. But okay, okay. Yeah. So we, hey, had to, we had to tell what people consider our best player to comply with PSR, which we did. It but don't just, worry, ye, ye Wills right. fans that are all jealous and crying and stuff. We got Dazzling Dave. We're doing some work with Dazzling Dave this week. 
from yeah, like that's in Dave. He's a proper sensible, knowledgeable, intelligent yeah, yeah, like Exactly. Him. Exactly. Cool. So we got some stuff going on with okay. Dazzler, the Dazzler this week. Um, all right, let, let's wrap it up there. What Ben, you wanted to say something? No, I was just gonna say to just to the the loot the looting on the wolf wolves fans in the chat. Just be careful if uh, Rob turns up at your city in a in a van or a bus. Just, just, uh, <laughs> Campaign just bus. Watch your backs. Campaign watch your bus. Backs. <laughs> Campaign bus. <laughs> um, you who's going to the game this weekend? You three go. I've got a yeah. possible space. ticket. I've got a possible. I've got an avenue I'm working on. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna make a joke but then it won't work all right let's wrap it up there please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new we'll be back for a preview on who we got oh yeah we've got wolves next haven't we yeah come on you reds you reds come on you